I can't wait for you to come back home. I also planned on uh, having a friend come over. <clears throat> hey, Mom, this is Destiny. Have you lost your damn mind? This is my house. Look, I never meant to cause problems between you two. Hey, Ma. How's my boy doing? You all packed up and ready to go? Yes, ma'am. I can't wait for you to come back home. It's been so long. Yeah, I can't wait to be home either. For sure, especially get one of your famous uh, home-cooked meals. Yeah, yeah, we need to put some meat on those bones because you're too skinny. Man, you always saying I'm too skinny, Ma. <laughs> so what time is your flight? Um. I leave in about three hours, so I should land around six. Okay, great. Are you sure you don't want me to pick you up? No, I got a ride. Thanks. Okay, remember your uncles want to take us out to dinner. Uh, uh, do you think we can do Sunday instead? Well, I, I guess. I just need to, we just need to let, let them know. Okay, good. No, nah, I was just planning to chill at home, you know, maybe watch the game. And I also thought about having a friend come over. A friend? Uh -huh. hmm. Is that that girlfriend you've been so secretive about? What's up with that? Yeah, yes, Mom. Mm. So what's her name? Uh, oh, her name is Destiny. Destiny. So, mm, Dante and Destiny. I like the sound of that. Come on, Wait, mom. Dante and Destiny sitting in a tree. Come on, please, please. <laughs> so, um, does Destiny like anything in particular? Should I cook something, you know, for her? Um, whatever you make should be fine. I'm sure she'll love it. All right. All right. You be safe. I can't wait to see you. See you, see you soon, okay? See you soon. Dinner's not quite ready yet, but I could make you a sandwich. I ate on the plane. I'm good. Oh, God, I'm so excited to see you. So, um, what time will be Destiny will be joining us? She should be here in about an hour. Oh, okay. Well, you can just sit down and relax, and dinner will be ready. I got a few more things I need to do in the kitchen, okay? Okay, I'll go ahead and watch the game. All right, sounds like a plan. Hey there, are you enjoying the game? Yes, I really like the new TV. It's nice. I'm glad you like it. So what time did you say Destiny was joining us? She just texted me that she wanted to get her a bottle of wine, so she should be here in the next few minutes. Okay, cool. Oh, well, let me go and freshen up. I want to look my best for your Destiny. Come on, Mom. <laughs> Good to see you. Oh, I miss you. I miss you too. Thanks for having me over. Of course, my mom is dying to meet you. This for her? Oh wow, she's gonna really like this. Perfect. Come on in. Let's have a seat. I love your home. The landscaping out front is so beautiful. Yes, those flowers are my mom's pride and joy. So make sure you tell her. Thought you were her pride and joy. <laughs> well, come on. <clears throat> uh, hey, mom. Uh, this is Destiny. Hi, Mrs. Taylor. It's so good to finally meet you. Hello. You must be Destiny. 
And may I just say, I love your home. The flowers out front are so beautiful. Yes, they are. Here, this is for you. Dante, can I see you in the kitchen for just a minute? Sure. I'll be right back. Have you lost your damn mind? What are you talking about? I can't believe you bring this white girl up in here. No warning, no nothing. Seriously, Mom? Does the parents of this Miss Snow White know that she's dating a black man? Yes, they do. And they have no problem with it. I'm really surprised that my mom is the one with the problem with all of this. You know, you know with a name like Destiny Harris? I, I, I thought she was a sister. She must be the only white girl in America with the name of Destiny. Mom, please. Weren't there any other black girls at the college? Let me ask you this, Mom. How many girlfriends have I brought home to meet you? What, um, uh, well, you had a girlfriend and her name was Cindy. Right. And, and now we got Miss Snow White up in here. So what does that tell you? I love her, Mom. Really, you love her? Yes, I do. She and if it wasn't for her, I would not have graduated on time this year. She really makes me a better man. Does she love you? Yes, Mrs. Taylor. I love your son very much. So, so, so what were you doing? Eavesdropping on no, us or something? I'm sorry. I was just... I overheard the last part of your conversation. No kidding. So, so, so what are you trying to say? Am, am I too loud? I can be loud if you want. Mom, calm down. Oh, no, 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 no. You don't tell me to be quiet in my house. This is my house. If I want to be loud, I'll be loud. Look, I never meant to cause problems between you two. I'm sorry. Great job at making her feel welcome, Mom. Are you okay? I'll be fine. I'm sorry. I really didn't think my mom would react like that. It's not your fault. So Dante, can I speak to Destiny for just a minute? Is that cool? So Destiny, how long have you and my son been dating? We've been together for seven months. We started as friends though. We had several classes together our first years of school, and we started hanging out. And somewhere along the line, we fell in love. So do you really love him? More than I thought I could ever love anyone. Hmm. So you love him? Mrs. Taylor, I know I'm not what you were expecting, but Dante is my entire world. I only have the best intentions for him, and I would never do anything to hurt him. You know, Mom, despite life attempt to give it eyes, love is blind. And when Desi and I are together, I feel safe. I feel like I can do anything. I feel invincible. I feel like I can conquer the world with one hand, as long as I'm holding hers in the other. You know, I am sorry the way I reacted. You know, I was out of line. Please forgive me, Destiny. So how about us breaking open that bottle of wine you brought and have some food? I think so. Awesome, come on.